Hey everybody and welcome to the Plant Stock channel. If we haven't met yet, my name is Jesse and on this channel we focus on plant-based companies and stocks. Today I'm a bit busy since I am prepping for an interview with the CEO of Bush Foods tonight, but since I am busy I still thought that I could give you a golden nugget. When it comes to researching different stocks and companies, I think it is important to look at different avenues, right? Different perspectives that could be a potential risk or something that could be beneficial. For instance, when it comes to companies like the Tattoo Chef, I do know that a lot of people like to go look in the stores to see what the sell-through is like, right? Or that you like to buy some of their products, to test their products, look at reviews, things like that. And that's what a really good investor should do, in my opinion. It's good to know what they're all about, right? And good to know what kind of moat they have and what kind of disadvantages they could have. For that very reason, I thought it would actually be interesting to see when it comes to the Tattoo Chef company that you know I'm invested in, but also a company like Bush Food, because what they have in similarity is that they both have microwavable food, right? So an easy for you food, a convenient food that is supposed to be both healthy for you and again, convenient. But as you probably know, there's been a lot of talk over the years that microwavable food is not healthy because if you heat it up in the microwave, it will destroy all the nutrients and it might actually also cause you some harm. So in that spirit, I actually thought it would be good to actually just listen to a very famous plant-based doctor who's actually been working with this for years and years when it comes to nutrition and plant-based living, right? And it would be interesting to hear what his thoughts are when it comes to microwaving your food because he is all about nutrition and making it as healthy as possible. So I hope you enjoy this video. And as always folks, I would truly appreciate an early thumbs up since it does help spread the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you are interested in plant-based companies like Beyond Meat, Tattoo Chef, Bush Foods, Oakley, the very good food company to name a few, make sure to subscribe and don't forget that bell button. Okay, today our viewer has asked, is microwaving safe? Ah, an important question in this electronic age. And there's several aspects to this answer. And so let me drill down on them. I think the the person's most concerned about the quality of the food that comes out of the microwave box there. Uh, in microwaving, radio waves are used uh, that come into the food in all sorts of directions, and they make the water molecules inside the food snap all around and change directions. And as a result, heat is generated from the friction of the water molecules moving around. And it's that inner friction heat that, that actually heats the food. And in doing so, uh, the, the water in the food is heated and the food is uh, heated up, but unless it stays in the microwave overly long, and that's more than 10, 15 minutes, uh, the food itself is not particularly damaged. I'm sure a few of the more fragile molecules probably get shaken up, uh, but if you hold the microwaving to just reheating food for two, three, four minutes, reheating last night's leftovers, uh, or making some hot water for tea, uh, there's really no real risk to the food or to the water. So know that microwaving in general is safe uh, for the food. Now, you don't want to leave it in the microwave for 20 minutes. Uh, you start generating what's called radio degradation products. And that just means the vitamins and minerals and proteins, are not the minerals, but the vitamins and the proteins uh, get shaken all around, start breaking up and, and degrade. And so you don't want to create that. And so that's why you don't keep food in the microwave very long. As I said, usually five minutes is uh, my outside limit for how long I will microwave the food. Now, drilling on down there is, is microwaving safe. Uh, certainly, uh, the food is not made radioactive. There's no gamma rays, uh, beta radiation, alpha particles, nothing like that. Uh, so not to worry that your food's going to be made radioactive. Uh, however, the risk that can come from microwaving uh, is from a microwave unit that leaks uh, those radio waves out. And you don't want to be standing right in front of your microwave uh, if the door is allowing any of those microwaves leaking out there. It doesn't do great things for the molecules uh, in your own body. 
Fortunately, due to the law of physics, the, the power of the radio of the uh, beams coming out of the microwave of the energy uh, drops down very quickly with distance. So if you're more than four or five feet away, six feet away, you're okay. But don't stand right in front of the microwave. Don't put your arm on the microwave uh, while it's running there. Uh, not a safe thing to do. Last thing as far as safety using the microwave is to keep in mind how hot the food is when it comes out, even though it doesn't feel so hot. And the two classic examples are jelly donuts. And uh, there's been a number of cases where people have uh, heated up a jelly donut, they take it out, mm, the dough on the outside doesn't feel that hot at all, uh, but they bite into it and find out that the jelly center inside is boiling and scalding. And there's been some really severe burns to the mouth and palate uh, as a result of uh, eating uh, those kind of foods. And the last most dangerous kind of food to cook in a microwave are raw eggs. Uh, you'd think, oh, it'd be a quick way to just turn it into a hard boiled egg. Uh, but no, what happens in the microwave is there's a lot of water inside the egg and it turns into steam and pressure builds up inside. Uh, and the eggs can either explode in the microwave, uh, but there's been quite a number of cases where people have taken the, the egg out and either cracked it or just put it on their plate and it has exploded. And there's been some severe eye injuries and facial burns as a result of exploding eggs from microwave. So uh, don't be doing eggs or jelly donuts inside your microwave. But if you're using it just to reheat leftovers, etc., I think it's an appropriate use of uh, a really remarkable technology that certainly can make our lives uh, easier and more convenient. So uh, use properly. Uh, microwaving is safe.